A lot of people in Prince George are ready for the spring weather to arrive. But we've had a relatively easy time of it compared to eastern Canada. They're still dealing with snowstorms. Ironically, their severe winter weather is having an impact on all of Canfor's sawmill operations. The company says its Prince George sawmill is one of the hardest hit. This CN train is heading to Canfor's Prince George sawmill to pick up a load of lumber. Right now, it's a very welcome sight. According to Canfor, lately fewer rail cars have been able to make it to the mill. That means wood is piling up. Bad news for the company, because the longer this lumber sits, the longer Canfor waits to turn it into cash. We are very much dependent on rail carriers to provide us with uh, rail cars, adequate transportation uh, to move our product to market. It's too heavy to truck it all. Canfor depends on CN, but the railway is at the mercy of Mother Nature. The whole railway system is connected, so this year's frigid weather kicks back onto Prince George. Parts of eastern and Atlantic Canada are still being walloped by winter. The severe weather forces railway companies like CN to run shorter trains, which can carry less. Usually there are a few days each winter when rail transport has to slow down. Just, but, but this year is longer than it's been and, uh, and worse than it's been that I've ever seen, to be honest with you. So, you know, I've been in Camp 4 for 28 years and, and I've never seen it this bad. Now that spring's here, Canfor's products are finally moving again. Because earlier this winter, there was such a severe backlog here in the lumber yard, the Prince George sawmill came close to shutting down. So much lumber had piled up, the mill was almost at the breaking point. Now Canfor has a backup plan in case we run into another winter like this one. It'll use its now closed mill in Quinell as a temporary storage and sorting facility when there aren't enough rail cars available. We have a longer term plan. We have a, a logistics review of the whole rail uh, service across Canada that uh, that we're uh, looking into and, and, and we've already enacted it. It's ongoing now because we know there are severe shortages in the infrastructure uh, with both CP and CN that need to be addressed if we need to, we need to get our commodities to market and right now it's just not working. Zimmer says the government's review of the rail system should be complete within a year and a half. In the meantime, CN and Canfor will have to hope for milder weather to keep things moving. Camille McDonald, CKPG News.